Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Sharon. In this video tutorial, I will explain in ASP.NET Code Blazor application tutorial series how to implement the code functionality with the Razor components. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new project. Go to create a new project and set up the templates called blazer app click next let's give the project name is um, crude blazer code is my application name and i'm saving this project in this folder in the d drive click create after that let's select the blazer server app page And here the project is created successfully. Let me close this default window. And also notice in the solution explorer, there are some default files and folders are added automatically. So here the Razor component files, some folders. Now first, before implementing the crude functional, they creating, reading, updating, and deleting the records, they require one new table. For that, I'm creating a new class and that class is a poker class which contains only the properties that file that class name that class i'm adding in this data folder first let me allow to open this data folder if you check in this data folder there is already some default files class files are there just ignore these files i'm adding a new file called i click the mouse add class and the class name is student class student class enter and here we got our student class now in the student class i'm defining the properties so let's define the property integer type the student id the student id i want to make this as a primary key and auto generate column so just simply add a key method once we add this method this student id column will become the primary key and also notice once i add this method key the new namespace system.component.model.data annotations is added let's create the another property prop string data type and it's a student name prop string email just for the demo purpose i'm adding only three properties in this class of course which are our the column names in our table so after adding the properties in the student class next we require the the proper sql server connection so for that come to the bottom open app settings or json file open that one if you notice here in this app settings or json file there is no any connection strings yeah so let's add colon connection strings column let's go with comma here now in this connection string i'm adding my connection column between double quotes let's add our the data source the connection string of our sql server database to get the proper sql server connection string notice the server explorer open that one right click the data connections add connection and the server name i'm adding my connect server uh, sql server name which is the desktop i found pbudoom so after adding a sql server name i'm getting here the databases of this server so i'm selecting the database name charan click text connection is succeeded okay then click ok and here the database is added successfully and also notice in this properties section and the connection string property there is a data source so just copy that one the data source and paste between these double quotes that's it next up we require the db context class so for that we'll add one more class name here right click the data folder add class the class name is 
application db context create this class add and here we got our application db context class now in this application db context class i want to inherit the db context class so that db context class is belongs to microsoft .entity framework. let's add that one using microsoft .entity framework. if you notice here there is no any entity framework class dll library here so let's install that one first delete this thing in the project notice the dependencies folder expand that one in the dependencies folder notice there is no any packages folder so let's add the necessary packages what we required for this application i click the project name select manage network packages in the manage network packages go to browse and search for microsoft.entity framework core and this is a package i want to install microsoft.entity framework core i'm selecting that one click install click ok after that let's accept the license and here we've got our green button which means this package is installed successfully and here we've got our signal with the green color which means this package is installed successfully in our project notice the packages folder is added let me expand this packages folder see here the microsoft.entity framework core this package is installed successfully and also i require to connect the database we require the sql server this one click install okay let's accept this license and here the core sql server is also added and the last thing when we want to migration uh, functionality we require these tools the microsoft.entity framework code.tools package also we require click install click ok let's accept the license and here the three dll library the packages are installed successfully let me uh, minimize these folders now in the application db context class we'll add the namespace using microsoft dot microsoft dot see here now we've got the entity framework core let's add that one now i can able to add add the db context after that let's define the constructor of this class now in this constructor i'm adding db context options the db context options i'm adding my application db context the class name options dot column base options after that i'm adding the property to add my student class prop double tap db set this db set i'm adding the entity the entities you are getting from the student class so let's add the class name here using my application name dot the data folder name this student class is inside the data folder so here the student class is inside the data folder so i am adding the this namespace now i can able to access the student class and the property name here i am adding student so which is also our table name that's it we have added the connection strings after that now the final step we need to add the services open startup.cs file and startup.cs file let's import the necessary classes using microsoft.entity framework core and also we require this data folder also because we require this student class now come to the configure services method let's add our services dot uh, services db add db context in this db context i'm adding application db context in this application db context i'm adding options options colon options dot use sql server 
and this SQL server takes this connection string parameter so here I'm adding configuration dot get connection string between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name the connection string name is my connection copy that one and paste here that's it that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to implement the migration the entity framework migration for that open tools go to nudget package manager inside this nudget package manager we got the package manager console select that one and here we got a command prompt let me clear this one add migration the migration name is create migrate enter see here the create table the student name which is our table name and student id student name and email let's check in our database let's open sql server let me expand this root folder as well as the databases folder that database name is charan when i expand this data folders and the tables folder and notice here there is no any student table here so let's update the database into this sql server database in the same package manager console update hyphen database enter see build started and succeeded and we got a message done that's it let's check in our database again right now we have only three tables country state and student object now let's refresh this database expand the databases charan database and now the tables folder see here we got the student table is added successfully let me browse the student table select top thousand rows see here the student table contains no records because we just created this student table that's it in my next tutorial i'll explain how to insert records in asp.net core blazor app or with razor components